I was watching a fight on the ice the other day, then a game of ice hockey broke out. Rather disappointing. Uh, so joining us in the studio this morning is the owner of uh, Manchester Storm, Neil, and uh, Brett Cloutier, the enforcer on the ice, the man, mo man, man mountain. And uh, just, just for the record, just what team are we? Uh, Manchester. Phoenix. Oh, oh, Storm oh, Byron. Again. Get it right. Do hey. your research. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah. See, I'll start off so smug, so self-assured. You have to take you outside again. Not again, please, Brett. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's a pleasure having you on. Uh, uh, again. It's good to see you guys. Um, and, uh, well, I just before we sort of get into the serious business of the team and what's happening down in Altrincham, Brett, this weather... Does this, is this good for training as regards to, uh, I mean, because this is, I mean, I should imagine you're kind of used to uh, better, uh, well, I was going to say better conditions, colder conditions, but uh, here in Manchester, this is, uh, this is, you know, this is pretty cold for us. Byron, we play hockey inside, you know, it doesn't really <laughs> matter, it's cold in there anyways, but no, I guess, I guess it, gets you, it gets you in the mood a little bit whenever you're going, oh, Byron's gone, I'll get back here, oh, I'm scaring away the, the host here, no, but yeah, I guess it gets you in the mood a little bit, it reminds me of home a little bit, uh, seeing a little bit of snow on the ground, I guess you guys don't get that too much here, but no, uh, you know, it's Christmas time and it feels a lot better uh, with a little bit of snow on the ground. There was an interview with you in one of the papers over the last couple of weeks uh, with regards to the situation with some of your sponsors making life a little difficult for you, I believe. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I think everybody's having a difficult time at the moment, Mike. We've, uh, unfortunately, as a sports team, we, you know, the cutbacks hit us first and uh, we've got some of our main sponsors are unfortunately have run into problems and, and they can't pay us. <clears throat> and that means that uh, we have to find another way of propping up the team. So... We've been utilising existing sponsors to keep things going. I mean, fortunately, um, Comtech Presentations has taken up the baton and has, has gone forward with the community roadshows for the schools and keeping the drugs programme with youngsters going uh, and community activities going. Magnum have come forward to be able to, to get youngsters to games with this, giving them the opportunity to see live sport. And uh, at five o'clock last night, we managed to s seal a deal with Unison to come on board and support us till the end of the season. So it's not all doom and gloom, but it, uh, it's probably been my hardest season in hockey so far. And it's, uh, it's been a few sleepless nights. As, and as you say, it's not all doom and gloom. You had a good win at the, on Sunday at the Altrincham uh, Ice Dome, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, Nottingham's ahead of us. It's a team we've got to catch. I mean, the bottom teams... Don't uh, interrupt you there, because you don't score many goals, do you? No. <laughs> and you kind no, of I don't. <laughs> I, I think we should throw a party here on the I show. Throw a party. Well, we, got we've the got something winner. lined up for that. Just, it's not quite a party, but I think if you just take a look at this, you might, you might enjoy it. <laughs> oh, here we go. So you were pleased with that one? Oh, I put all 240 pounds in the one. Yeah, I was pretty pleased, but no one, uh, no one went over there to celebrate with me for a little bit. I was all happy about myself. Yeah, it doesn't happen too much. With that's us. exactly how it happened, ladies and gentlemen. No effects were used in the uh, making of that film. That was all exactly as it happened. If you're no at the game, it was in black and white, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing you can skate in slow motion. <laughs> no, that was actually real time right there. Yeah, I mean, seen... that was just so you know, that's, that just shows what a, what a great coach we've got as well. That's just a master class of coaching. <laughs> How's because the season going so far, Neil? What he did is he... Uh, Brett, by the way, is, um, he's on our, our glass rattling line, which means that uh, him and Kyle basically put their forwards into the glass and, and slow them down like they try and do with our forwards and basically protect our, our smaller guys. So he's, he normally goes out on line three. He's so, one of our smaller guys. I try yeah, to protect to, him he, as he much. He protects me all the time. <laughs> And basically what Tony did is he, he took out line one, which is the line he is on him, Beauregard, the league's top scorer, and Luke Fulgham. And then in front of their bench, put his hand up, sent Beauregard back and brought Brett out onto line one. That normally means, without being rude, that Brett's probably going to give somebody a good hiding because they were roughing us up at the time. So what they all did, as you saw, is they moved away from him thinking, <laughs> we're going to get hit. Yeah. And Tony took the puck and gave it to him while he was on his own. He skated in, as you saw, and just put an absolute rocket of a shot. What you don't see there is that it actually hits the goalkeeper's hand and goes straight back through the net. What kind of speed are those pucks going at? Was that 83 mile an hour shot? Oh, harder than that. No, you can get up to like 100 miles an hour. Not, really? not, not me though, not me, you know. Like, I, I not, think with, not with the 240 pounds behind it? No, on. no, 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 no. I think I've shot, I've shot 92 before. 92 that, miles yeah. an hour. And I had the hardest <laughs> snapshot in our uh, skills competition last year, so. 
So that, that was a good league. That win. was an 80 mile an hour plus shot, definitely. By the way, yeah. to the goalkeeper's mitt, definitely. So that so that was a good league win. You're up, you're up to fifth, which is a dizzying heights for for Manchester. Really, you're also in the, the cup semi final, aren't you? Yeah, we're looking we're looking forward to playing Basingstoke. Uh, I don't see any reason why we should lose this one. I'm confident. I, I've said it before. I was on Sky. Yeah, I'm not going to jinx this. I'm, it's not a jinx. That's how confident uh, we are to beat this team. And I see him. He's going all crazy right now. But uh, they're bringing a big guy in to sort Brett out, so that we've you know a big disabled. guy to yeah. sort Brett out. Yeah, they're bringing a big guy in to sort Brett out, so that we, you know they can disable all our tiny four. Is it something from the WWE or something on skates? <laughs> it's the only way I can Hulk, see Hulk Hogan's coming back. Well, Sheffield did it, didn't they? Sheffield brought a guy in off the last three minutes off the bench to sort you out, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I took him out. He, he didn't have much of a chance. And I think he's suspended for the year now. Or <laughs> you're, also, you're not a fan of the warm-up music, are you, down at Altrincham? Tell us about oh. that. Well, I, I blame the owner for that one. Yeah, I skated do. over in warm-up there yeah. the other day. They were, what were we listening to? Changes and Katmandu and warm-up? It was ridiculous. It brings me down from the stands in front of everybody, thinking it's really urgent. And I come down at the timekeeper's box he comes over he says I'm you know boss I'm just not pumped up what is this Gene Genie stuff I, I, I can't like... get pumped up to Gene Genie is that the word you stuff it was horrible. Uh, I thought wasn't it wasn't was... quite the word he used. No, <laughs> oh, he no uses yeah I used a, words. Yeah, a couple of uh, words that are TV, appropriate you know, for family. TV but uh, <laughs> But I told him I told him to get it done or else uh, you know I might be leaving if I got to listen to oh, this stuff. See, okay. See what they do to me. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, That's called exactly blackmailing our country, yeah. you know. I, he won't leave me because he loves me. He, just, he doesn't want to tell you, but well, he does I'm love me. Your goal again? <laughs> no, I don't need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do the goal again. Let's do the goal again. Put it on. Put it on. if you want to see that happen again Sunday? We're playing Sunday against Coventry, which is a really big game for us because they're just above us. They're an A-tier team. Uh, they have three points ahead of us, so it's a big game for us on Sunday, 5.30 at the Origin of My Stone. If you don't know where we are, log on to our website, www.manchesterfinish.co.uk. I know, Byron, we're not allowed to do this, but, you, you know, right. you just right. got to do it, you know? Fine. And don't forget, we, this is what is this first time in 10 years that a Manchester team, a Manchester Ice Hockey team, has made it through to a semi-final. And according to Brett, we're in the final. We're in the final. Wow, well, yeah. well, we should say, don't, don't do Good any stuff. more jinxing. I'm not jinxing us. <laughs> and you I'm keep hitting you. those pucks. <laughs> and, if and if there's any lovely people out there want to come to the game, Altering a Stone, and you lot, by the way, you've all been invited once and you didn't come, this is your last chance. Get yourselves down there. All this trouble is here. Oh, all the will be back. will come and see you. Brett knows where you live. Neil and any sponsors, talk to us. Manchester Phoenix. <laughs> Mr Morris, thank you very much You're for welcome. joining this morning. Brett, as always, uh, great to see you. Uh, we'll be following your fortunes, uh, regardless to whether people come from the studio floor, come down to the Altrincham Ice Stone. But uh, as our, uh, our favourite team here on The Breakfast Show, we will certainly be following your fortunes. Can we stay to do Improve Your Sex Life? Or no. have we got to go? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, certainly not you two. Absolutely no way. OK, uh, fair enough. Coming up, it's time to... Uh, spice up your sex life. See you soon. <laughs> Brett, you're going home. I feel inferior. <laughs>